This is Yoshi, a character Wikipedia refers to as a video game dinosaur, a distinction I can only assume they bother making so you do not confuse him with a real dinosaur. A situation only further complicated by the 1993 film Super Mario Bros., which does confuse Yoshi with a real dinosaur. All this is to say, today we're gonna sculpt Yoshi, and in the end, he's gonna look like this. But where to begin, I hear you ask? Well, where all good projects begin, reference. Here's an image, here's an image, here's an image. The internet is full of images, all just waiting to be turned into your next masterpiece. I personally went for this little guy from Paper Mario, but I tell you, this hot little number was a close contender. Oh, geez, look at the butt on that. Yeah, he must work out. Moving on, grab your reference image and start drawing some real basic shapes on top. This can be a great way to help you visualize more complex forms into something much more simple. However, I think we can go one better. Banana body, watermelon nose, tennis ball cheeks, dinosaur egg, dinosaur egg, half a watermelon, soccer ball, pool floaty, an array of basketballs, and a pool noodle. This is the worst! <laughs> Maybe we should just start sculpting. Grab all those shapes that we just talked about and start arranging them to something that if you showed your grandma, she would say, this is wonderful. Sure, she might not be wearing her glasses and she might be reading off the back of a tin of beans, but don't let that take away from your sense of satisfaction. Because remember, we're not aiming for perfection here. It's just like my old art teacher used to say, Peter, you will never achieve perfection. At the time, I thought he was trying to inspire me like Emilio Estevez once did with the Mighty Ducks. But as it turns out, he was being much more literal. Peter, you will never achieve perfection. Prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. Here's a fun fact for all you fun fact fanatics. In Super Mario World, where Yoshi was first introduced, Mario was just punching Yoshi in the back of the head to get him to stick out his tongue. Realising this probably wasn't the best look, the devs later changed the idea to be that Mario was pointing the way. However, they never changed the animation, so to this day, Yoshi's still getting punched in the back of the head every time he sticks out his tongue. And that concludes the poorly named segment, Fun Facts. Now I know what you're thinking, Peter, would there be any sculpting tips in this sculpting video? Well, I'm glad you asked because no, no, there won't be. Now back to my stories. I set the toaster to three, medium brown. All right, fine, I'll give you one tip. So you might've noticed that the time-lapse jumps around a lot. I'm not working on one piece until it's finished and then moving on to the next. I'm constantly switching between them. This is basically how you get correct proportion. You get in the body, which then helps inform the head, which then helps you with the arms and the legs and so on and so forth. This does tend to mean that your model's gonna look terrible for 90% of the time that you're working on it. So if a friend happens to come over and ask you what you're up to, just turn off your screen and say that you were looking at pornography. Why are you so sweaty? I was watching cops. Moving on. The more eagle-eyed viewers among you may have realized that my final image and the reference image don't actually match up. I was just finding my Yoshi model wasn't really that appealing. A lot of this came down to the symmetrical nature of the pose, but the rest came down to my personal failings as a human being. So here might be a great place to pause and talk about exactly what we can do to remedy this situation. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, the situation is pointless. Abandon all hope. Or we could take a couple of deep breaths and then take a lesson from the little engine that could. I think I can. I think I can. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. And then luckily for everyone, I turned off my recording software on accident and then only started recording again once I'd found the pose. You're welcome. The main thing I was trying to accomplish was bring more asymmetry into it, which I think helps bring a lot more appeal to the character. I know as soon as I made the change, I was like, hmm, this is less boring. And at the end of the day, less boring is one of the finest compliments I can give myself. So at this point in the video, you're probably wondering, Peter, is there enough time for another story? You bet your sweet butt there is. So when I was younger, I convinced my very health conscious mother that for Easter she should get me a game instead of any chocolate. Much to my surprise, this worked and I ended up with the game Yoshi's Story. <laughs> Was it a good game? I'd give it a solid B+. But it did endear me to the character of Yoshi and hence, all these years later, I'm sculpting Yoshi. I think the moral of the story is pretty clear, but in case you didn't get it, if you can trick your mum, definitely trick your mum. 
Back to the sculpt for one second, I noticed that his shoe was actually hovering above the ground so a good way to fix it is just to put in a ground plane and then you can just make sure that everything is level so that he's connected with a sense of balance and weight. And then finally just wrapping the whole thing up with a really quick paint job. Like John Hammond says, spare no expense except in this case we are sparing every expense because this is definitely the quickest way you can do it. And that's it, this video is over. If you made it to the end, thank you very much. If you skipped to the end, thank you very much. And one more very important thing just before this cuts off, I just really want to